Hey guys, today we're going to start looking at circles and pi. We're gonna answer the question, what are key features of circles and what is pi? So let's start with the diameter of a circle. The diameter of a circle goes all the way across the circle from one edge to the other, passing through the center. So in this picture right here, the diameter would be this length right here from one edge to the other, and it is passing through the center of the circle. The radius goes halfway across the circle from the edge to the center. So that means that the radius is going to be half the length of the diameter. So in this circle, the radius would be right here. That is from the center to the edge, and it is half the length of the diameter. And the last thing that we're gonna talk about is circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is the distance around a circle. It can be thought of as the perimeter of the circle. We don't call it the perimeter because circles have special names for their key features because circles are a special shape with no edges. So that right there would be the circumference of the circle. Okay, so first thing we're gonna look at when given the diameter, how do you find the radius? So we are given the diameter in this picture right here, which is 10 centimeters. And to find the radius, you just divide that diameter in half. And 10 divided by two is five, so the radius is five. And then the diameter of this circle is 22 inches. So the radius is going to be half of that, and 22 divided by two is 11. So the radius is 11 inches. So the radius is half of the diameter. So to find the radius, we would take the diameter and divide it by two. Then on the other hand, we're gonna look at whenever you're given the radius, how do you find the diameter? So if the radius is 12, that's halfway across the circle. So to find the whole way across the circle, we would multiply it by two. So the radius of this circle is 12 millimeters. So the diameter is 12 times two, which is 24 millimeters. And then on this circle, the radius is three feet which means the diameter is twice that. So the diameter is six feet. So the diameter is twice the radius. So to find the diameter, you would take your radius and multiply it by two. All right, we're gonna talk about another important key feature of circles and we are going to discover where this number pi comes from. So let's look at this. It says Callie is comparing cookie sizes from different bakeries by looking at their diameters and circumferences. So she's looking at across a circle and around the outside of a circle, those distances. Use this information to see if there's a relationship between the diameter and the circumference of circles. So at Simply Sweets, the diameter is three inches and the circumference is 9.42 inches. And I wanna see if there's a relationship between the diameter and the circumference. So I'm gonna take the circumference and divide it by the diameter. I'm gonna do 9.42 divided by three. I'm gonna use a calculator for this just for time's sake. 9.42 divided by three is 3.14. That was at Simple Sweets. And then Perfect Pastries, the ratio of their circumference over the diameter would be 18.84 divided by three. And when I do 18.84 divided by three, I get, oh, it's divided by six, my bad. Three was the other diameter. This diameter is six. Okay, 18.84 divided by six, I get that same number of 3.14. And then at the last store, they have a diameter of eight inches and a circumference of 25.12 inches. So it'd be circumference divided by diameter. We get 25.12 divided by eight. 
So 25.12 divided by eight is 3.14. So based on these cookies, every time we take the circumference and divide it by the diameter, we always get 3.14. And that is a special relationship seen in all circles and that's where the number pi comes from. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to the diameter and it always simplifies to about 3.14.